let us discuss this very interesting concept radius of convergence of power series power series we have already seen in previous videos right so let us discuss what is radius of convergence and how to calculate it we denote radius of convergence by capital r okay so when we have a power series like this summation n x minus p raised to n so this is a power series around point p if this power series is convergent only at point p then its radius of convergence is zero that means only at point p it is convergent and for other points the series is divergent so therefore we say its radius of convergence is zero if this power series converges for any real number okay then its radius of convergence is infinity so that means is, these are two extreme cases right at only at point p the series is converges and for all points the series is convergent now let us discuss the middle cases okay that means this power series convergent for mod x minus p less than r not and it is divergent for mod x minus p greater than r not get it then in this case we say r not is a radius of convergence of this power series let us discuss what will happen if you solve this completely what we have mod x minus p less than r not right so some results of inequality we have already discussed let us apply one of the here result here so minus r not less than x minus p less than r not we can add p in all sides so therefore p minus r not less than x less than p plus r not that means what we get x belongs to let me write it here x belongs to p minus r not p plus r not that means for this interval only p minus r not p plus r not i will draw the diagram so you can easily understand this is a power series around point p right so p minus r not will be here and p plus r not will be here so that means for this interval series is convergent and for remaining part it is divergent series that means if you select any point x from here series will be convergent series and if you take any point x outside the interval series is divergent series so this interval is called interval of convergence okay so this interval is known as interval of convergence okay so this is a concept of radius of convergence see but there are some formula to calculate radius of convergence let us discuss those formula first make a screenshot of it so when we have a power series like this summation n x minus p raised to n around point p then we have this two formula to calculate radius of convergence so this formula gives the reciprocal of radius of convergence when you take reciprocal of both sides you will have the value of r that means radius of convergence so here we use the coefficient n to find radius of convergence if it has power n so th that time we go go for the first formula since there is nth root so power n and nth root will get cancelled to each other but when we have terms n factorial or like that so normally we go for the second formula so we take a ratio of a n plus 1 and n and by applying the limit we get the value of 1 by r getting so uh, reciprocal of radius of convergence again by taking reciprocal you will have the value of r that is radius of convergence in next videos we are going to discuss few examples on that just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye